A Clinical Decision Support System, or CDSS, is a health information technology system that is designed to provide physicians and other health professionals with clinical decision support. That is, assistance with clinical decision-making tasks when it comes to their patients. Imagine this. John falls ill and is struggling to get better. He then goes to the doctor where the doctor evaluates him and plugs his symptoms and information into the clinical decision support software. This software will provide the doctor with possible diagnoses and relevant information. The doctor can then use that information to do further testing and help narrow down possible diagnoses or treatment plans. This software provided the doctor with guidance and informational support rather than just spitting out a final diagnosis, which is a common misconception with these systems. A specific kind of clinical decision support system is a diagnosis decision support system, or a DDSS. Remember our patient from before? This is the type of system used in his situation. The doctor had the patient's data that when inputted into the system, it gave the doctor various possible diagnoses. The clinician then took these diagnoses and determined which could be eliminated as possible options and which should be considered. The clinician can then use their expertise to determine the next steps as far as finding a diagnosis may be, whether that be further tests or determining a final diagnosis. Another type of clinical decision support system is a case-based reasoning, or CBR. This type of system will use data and knowledge from previous cases to help guide new or existing cases. For example, a CBR may help to determine the appropriate use of radiation therapy for brain cancer patients by looking at past cases. The information found from previous cases will then be presented through the system for clinicians to then review and further determine the best treatment plan for their particular case. Implementation of CDSS are still riddled with numerous challenges. For example, if the institution deploying the support system fails to ensure that the system is integrated smoothly, the clinical workflow can be disrupted, resulting in a system that is not accepted by its users, especially the clinicians. The nature of the data used also poses a severe challenge for the amount of relevant data obtained. Diagnoses tend to revolve around the intricate workings of biological systems, meaning that a clinician using a CDSS may be overwhelmed with an enormous range of potentially relevant data when working with something as benign as a common cold. Lastly, clinical research is being published on an ongoing basis. Not only does this make it difficult to record all of this data, but it is still unknown how to fully translate it into a form that can be manipulated by computers in a meaningful way. CDSSs can also benefit from the use of electronic health records, or EHRs, creating an increasingly diverse and high-quality system catered toward patient health and well-being. By providing real-time data, EHRs ensure efficient and effective use of time and resources. No more waiting days or weeks to receive patient information from a hospital that may even be 10 minutes away. Since CDSSs are intended to impact clinician decision-making, sometimes rather abruptly, it makes sense to combine the two. In doing so, it has been said that the highest level of EHR is a CDSS. Unfortunately, errors in healthcare are unavoidable. Because of this, trying to minimize them as much as possible is important to quality patient care. Some benefits of implementing electronic health records alongside clinical decision support systems are the avoidance of things like medication prescription errors and adverse drug effects. However, there are also concerns with moving to a fully integrated electronic health record and clinical decision support system. Some areas of concern are the privacy and confidentiality of patients' records in addition to other things like user-friendliness, document accuracy, and completeness of the records.